Hi there, and welcome to the How to Play Artificer video. I'm David Carruthers. I'm the creator of Artificer. To give you a little bit of info, Artificer is a deck building board game uh, based on cards, and um, in this, you and your opponents all play Artificers. You have just gained um, access to the Artificers Guild, and you are now competing to gain prestige within the guild to become one of the greatest artificers within the guild. And there are many different ways to do that. Okay, so this is the basic setup for the board game Artificer. What you have are in the top row here, you have three different types of crystals, red, blue, and purple. In the middle here, you have recipes. These recipes can eventually become artifacts. On the bottom row, we have titles. These titles are worth a fair amount of points if you've built the right artifacts, but can only be bought under certain conditions. Down at the bottom, each player here will start with some uh, reminder reference cards that give you certain costs and the actions you can take. Each player will also start with a starting deck. And this starting deck will have specific cards in it that will be the same for every player. And of course, you can't make artifacts without ingredients. Over here we have six different types of ingredients. We have brownie hair, mermaid tears, griffin feathers, troll hides, fairy dust, and dragon's blood. Okay, so let me take you through just a few uh, practice turns just to show you how the the game works. Okay, so at the beginning of the game, of course, I'll shuffle my deck, draw one, two, three, four, five cards. The rest of my library will stay here, and I'll take a look at my five cards. So I have a title in my hand, which is uh, useless. Obviously, it's worth points at the end of the game, but during the game, it does absolutely nothing. I also have four red crystals. So I have a total of four value if I'm looking to buy ingredients or I have red crystals that I can use to purchase recipes or new crystals. So the first thing I can do this turn, I can spend two red crystals to pick up a new blue crystal. Now this is my play area. So everything I spend or collect is just going to go in a pile directly in front of me, and that pile should probably be right next to your deck. Um, that leaves me with two red crystals left. I can't buy another blue crystal because I have already done that this turn and can only do that once per turn. So I can basically, I can buy two ingredients or one ingredient or buy a recipe and an ingredient or I cannot buy two recipes because I can only do that once per turn as well. So what I will go ahead and do is purchase a new recipe and for my last crystal, purchase a brownie hair. And I will just uh, put that somewhere where I have access to it. So I have reached the end of my turn. That's all the actions I can take. I have no crystals left. So all my remaining cards and the cards that I've played and gained will go into a discard pile. If I had artifacts to recharge, I would do that. I do not. So I will draw five new cards. Okay, so we've fast-forwarded a bit to a little later in the game. You see I have some artifacts in play here, some that activate. Um, and this is currently my hand. I've collected some blue and purple crystals. So there are a few things that I can do with this turn. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if I can purchase any of these titles. And in fact, I can. I have the two blue crystals needed for this griffin expert. And I need three artifacts with griffin feather in the recipe. So I take a look at my artifacts, and this one does, this one does, this one does, and this one does. So I actually have four. So yes, I want to purchase this griffin feather, this, this griffin expert title, because it will be worth one point plus one times the four griffin feather artifacts I have. So right now it's worth five. Later in the game, it could be worth more if I make some more artifacts with griffin feathers in them. So I'm going to spend the two blue crystals and purchase that title. 
And once I've done that, I need to flip up a new title from the title deck so that there are always the correct number of titles in play. Now, obviously, this deck will eventually run out, and then you might have fewer than three titles up, but that's fine. All right, so the next thing is I'm going to look at activating some of my artifacts. Okay, I do have some ingredients in my supply here. So I'm going to use the Experts Encyclopedia that allows me to collect a recipe and put it on top of my library. I'm going to activate it to take an Initiate's Handbook and put it on top of my library. Then I'm going to use the Journeyman's Guide to reveal the top four cards of my library and put all the recipes I find into my hand. So I'm going to look at the top four cards of my library and I get to put this recipe into my hand and the rest go back on top of my library in any order. They're all red crystals, so the order doesn't matter. Okay, and I picked up this Initiate's Handbook uh, partly because I have everything I need to make it, so I can immediately make it since it's in my hand now. So I'm going to spend the Mermaid Tear and the Griffin Feather and the Troll Hide and this particular artifact requires me to spend a red crystal. Now, when a recipe requires you to spend a crystal, you must have that crystal in your hand. So, in order to spend that crystal, I'm going to burn it. That means I'm going to completely remove it from my deck, from the game, from everything. Okay, and then I can place that artifact into play. As with all artifacts, I can use it immediately once it's been put into play. And this artifact lets me activate it to look at the top card of my library and then either discard it or put it back. So I'm going to look at my top card. I know I've got three red crystals up there. I just don't need that many red crystals, so I'm going to choose to discard it. Right. Okay, so we fast forward again to near the end of the game. Now there are two game end conditions. The two game end conditions are Either all the titles have been bought, or one player has made ten artifacts. Once either of those conditions occurs, the round completes. Uh, that is, everyone gets the same number of turns. Um, so it goes to the player to the right of the first player. And then everyone tallies up their points. Okay, so in this particular hand, I have an artifact that could get me to 10 artifacts, but I would need two griffin feathers to make it. That would cost me six, so both my purple crystals. Or I could use both these purple crystals to buy the brewer title, which requires me to have two potions in play, which I do have in play. So I simply have to decide which way I want to end the game and which way will get me the most points. The brewer would be worth five points to me, the cloak that I have would be worth two plus one for the uh, Griffin Expert title that I have. So it would only be worth three to me, given what I have in my hand. So I will go ahead and spend the two purple crystals to collect that last title, ending the game. Now if I were the first player, everyone else would get one more turn, and then everyone would count up their scores. Okay, so tallying up the endgame score, I'm going to look at all the artifacts I have in play first, and I'm going to add up their point totals. So I have 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 7 is 13, plus 3 is 16, plus 3 is 19, plus 3 is 22, plus 2 is 24, plus 2 is 26, plus 5 is 31. So I have 31 points in artifacts. But I also have some titles that were in my deck. Okay, so this Artificer title is worth two plus one for each guild artifact I have, and I built both of them. So I'm going to get four points for this, bringing my total up to 35. I also picked up that Brewer title at the end of the game for potions, and that's worth three plus one for each potion, and I made two potions. 
So this is worth 5, bringing my total up to 40. And then lastly I have the Griffin Expert for artifacts that use Griffin Feathers. And that one gives me 1 plus 1 for each artifact with Griffin Feathers. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 totals of the total of those. So 5 plus the 1 equals 6. So my end game total ends up being 46 points. And hopefully that's enough to win me the game. The ingre any ingredients you have left in your supply at the end of the game are worth nothing. Um, nothing in your deck is worth any bonus points as I, uh, either. And there is no tiebreaker. If you happen to tie with an opponent, then you both get to share the victory. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that piques your interest a little bit. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to play this game very soon. Thanks a lot.